Wow. So we just saw we just got the the Super Mario Maker Two Nintendo Direct uh, released, and honestly, I was quite surprised when I first found out about this. Honestly, I didn't find out about this till sometime in the afternoon yesterday. So yeah. So I didn't really have much expectations going in to watch this, but I gotta say, they packed a lot into this direct, honestly. I'm quite surprised. Um, of course, we knew some of the basic things we knew that were going to be in there. We knew there was going to be a Super Mario 3D World thing. We knew there were going to be slopes. We, we, we knew there were going to be some other changes as well. And I'm pretty impressed with what they're doing. The story mode is a lot different with them trying to rebuild Peach's castle, but I can sort of guess where some of the things are going with that. We've got we got new styles of enemies, new power-ups, some some new multiplayers in it where we get to control as Luigi, Toad and Toadette. That's pretty cool. We've got in in a online uh multiplayer mode, which is good. Uh we so yeah there's also building uh ma making stages in terms of multiplayer, which is also good too. And yeah, there are a bunch of other unique stuff in this which I can't really go over, but I just want to address one major thing. Takamaru. Oh my gosh, that was a that was a surprise when they were doing the sound effects and all of a sudden I see Takamaru. As soon as I heard the the mysterious Murasami Castle music, I was like, oh my gosh, Takamaru. <laughs> I honestly can't can't believe that. That was a surprise. Like, and I've got honestly, I'm going to have to do some make some sort of stage involving all, all the mysterious Murasami Castle stuff. Honestly, because look, I've not played the game, but I love Takamaru as an assist trophy in Smash Brothers, and I was really hoping that he one really hope one day he gets to become a, a full fledged character. But oh man, that was like oh my gosh, that was my biggest reveal in it. The other thing I also reacted was the the Cooper car power up for the three D World stage where it's actually where you actually see a Super Famicom logo all of a sudden appear. That was also pretty cool. But oh man, I, I I'm serious. Takamaru is enough to get me to make me want to play it. Uh, one thing I am still worried about is when we're going to actually get uh, Mebo costumes again because I really hope so because that was some of my fa that was my favorite thing with the, the original the original Mario Maker. So I really hope they do add that. And I gotta say the new music and the night theme look amazing. The Angry Sun also is a good addition too. And yeah, I, I basically can't wait to play it to give it a go. I've got a couple of ideas for stages. Uh one is a 3D world puzzle stage I'm planning to make and the other you guess I'm gonna do something involving mysterious moon Sunny Castle. Oh man. Honestly I gotta tell my brother about it as soon as he gets home, he's he's gonna be surprised. I I gotta look up more reactions to the Takamaru bit, honestly. Nintendo, you really caught me off guard with that. <laughs> well, uh, and reminder, I have not played Mysterious Moon Sonic Castle. Maybe it might get released on Nintendo Switch Online. I doubt it. So in that case, I'm probably gonna have to get on the 3DS Virtual Console. But who cares? I'm happy. Well, uh, well, that's just basically what I can say about that. And well, I hope you've got your own thoughts about Super Mario Maker Two and whether you're going to get that. So I'll leave it up to you. But you know my reactions now, and perhaps maybe an idea of what I might eventually do, if I can, when I eventually pl play the game. But in the meantime. As the Master Reviews is out, and I will either see you for next week for Game of Thrones seasons, Game of Thrones the final episode, or I'll do something else as well. In the meantime, ciao.